now uh, amidst of course all this that is happening we shall be keeping you updated on all the news as and when it happens in the meantime i remember i asked you are the schools in your area open are they ready to actually admit students and i can see some of you have already sent in your feedback uh, somebody's watching from Makweni County in Borneo West, you say, the schools will be opened on Monday. Teresa from K-South, you say, schools seem to be ready, so the learners in K-South will resume on Monday, God willing. And somebody also from Kericho County says, all schools are okay and shule is ifunguliwe. Let's keep uh, talking. Let me know where you're watching from and what's the state of the schools in your area as we proceed. In other news, the African continent has been painted negatively as a region of diseases, poverty, conflict, crisis and challenges. And with the emergence of social media, the negative images strongly impact investor confidence. It also scares capital. It also raises the risk profiles of these countries. Now, according to the president of Africa Development Bank, Dr. Akiwumi Adeshina, this scares away investors at a time when we badly need them. As Paul Kirobi reports, the African continent is striving hard to achieve its goals and objective, partly through investment. Let's have a look. Africa is one of the regions where a majority of people work tirelessly, at least to ensure they are part of the development process that helps in achieving the dreams and vision of its people. This is seen as one of the efforts that has helped the continent grow very fast. However, its fast growth seems to be watered down by the rapid growth of social media that paints the region negatively. This scares away investors. Negative imagery strongly impacts investor confidence, scares away capital from the continent raises the risk profiles of countries, and worse, contributes to the so-called Africa risk premium, but makes the cost of capital for investment in Africa three to four times higher than in other parts. This despite the efforts Africa is making in fulfilling its objective and development goals. Despite the challenges facing the global economy, Africa posted a growth rate of 3.2% in 2023, which was above the global average of 3%, showing resilience amid multiple crises in the world. From geopolitical risk, climate change, global inflation, disruption of supply chains, and rising debt challenges. A close look at the yields on bonds issued by African countries and countries in Latin America for the same credit rating. The one in Africa pays 1.1% interest threat higher than those in Latin America. So this year, Africa will pay $74 billion in loan service payments, a rise from $17 billion in 2010. The African Development Bank Africa Economic Outlook 2023 shows that 11 out of the 20 fastest growing economies in the world are in Africa. The African Development Bank has promised to uplift Africa so as to attain its objectives, mission and goals. Paul Kirobi, TV47.